Hello my friends, thank you for coming back to me and this video I decided to show you how I improve my own sketching skills and what's the main part of my sketching practice while drawing faces because this is something you keep asking me about I'm actually still trying to figure out what's the best technique for me in a long-term practice to improve my skills constantly because this is something I'm trying to achieve uh, please keep in mind this is only my advice that can fit you or not um, this is uh, what I can tell from my own experience and uh, something I can see that uh, helped me a lot to improve and I want to share it with you guys I always try to tell you more options so you can try them and decide what fits you the most so what I basically do during the practice, uh, during the sketching practice, I usually start with little observation of the object. Uh, it is great to notice the basics, uh, the basic shape and then how it is divided into smaller parts, how the facial features are placed. At this point you do not have to worry about the details like lashes or eyebrows. Uh, we will come to the details later. So I take a harder pencil, some of the H pencils or HB or F pencil and I draw the most basic shape I can see in the object. In this case I try to get the shape of her face. Uh, then I go over again and I try to reshape it to draw all the facial features. Um, do not be afraid of making too many lines. Uh, if you draw them lightly, it will be easy to erase them when you get the shapes uh, you are satisfied with. So no worries because of those messy lines. Uh, just stay focused and keep watching the reference. Uh, you will get it into your hand quite quickly. Just please do not rush it, take your time, go over again, keep reshaping it according to the reference. Pay attention to the lines, uh, do not worry about the details or shadows. Of course you can add some attempt of shading in case it helps you to imagine the whole object much better. But you don't have to be stressed about it at this moment. Uh, I know it seems hard from the beginning. But uh, if you give it a try, you might find ways uh, that can help you to improve your own abilities. Uh, it also helped me to realize the process is not just about getting things right. It is about the process itself. Um, it uh, is more enjoyable, relaxing and it might support the creative side of you when you let yourself dive into the flow of the lines and follow the natural movements of your arms, uh, of your wrists and your fingers to create something you can see with your eyes, uh, that you can process with your brain. The result might be something that speaks for you, that can tell something more about yourself. I was trying to sketch faces since I can even remember I was able to hold a pencil in my hand. Uh, faces are the most interesting object to draw and also the most difficult one. Um, before I even knew there are some measuring techniques that can help me to transfer the basic proportions with accuracy 
to the paper I remember I was looking at the object for a moment and every time I simply tried to sketch what I could see with my free hand uh, without knowing there is something like a perspective facial proportions or a symmetry and of course it did not work so well at first uh, but I was trying again and if it did not work either I tried it again and somehow it started to work um, if it did not work I just tried to draw another face and I believe this was a very natural way to learn to draw for me in one of my previous videos I showed you how to transfer the basic proportions while drawing from a reference photo. I showed you a technique where you can use your pencil to measure the placement and sizes of the facial features. Of course it is just one of many techniques. Uh, I think it is a very effective way and quick way to get the sketch right. In case the freehand sketch is too much for you from the beginning, you can start with that one. And when you get a little confident, you can try the freehand sketch as well. I'm not against measuring, sometimes I use it even myself, but I think that when you use only this technique, it might be a little limiting. I mostly love to work uh, on my own skills without using this kind of guidelines. From my own experience, the measuring techniques might hold you back from improving more of your abilities, like uh, the observing skills, perception of the object as a whole, um, the entire uh, the entire concept of it, uh, understanding the shapes and construction of the things around you. So what I recommend is to take a photo you like and try to draw the basic sketch, the basic outlines a few times until you're satisfied with the results. Uh, with no measuring, just let your hand freely move on the paper and you can try to put the result next to the photo to not notice the mistakes you made and try to consider them in the next sketch and then put the sketch, all of the sketches, um, all of the attempts uh, next to each other and you will see the improvement. Of course the improvement will be a little slower because your hand needs to get used to it and I believe it's worth it. In case uh, you would like to learn to draw with me, you can join me on my Patreon account where I, I share real-time videos and exclusive tutorials and tips and also I give uh, individual consultation. Um, it is also a way to support my work. Uh, thank you for any kind of your support. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, you make uh, 
this content on my Instagram and my YouTube possible. Uh, in case you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe because many new videos are coming soon. So that is all for me for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!